Welcome to Showcase Richmond. I'm Amy Carter. Bus Rapid Transit is finally here in Richmond. We are so excited to talk about the Pulse launching on Sunday, June 24th. Someone who's actually had a chance to ride the new Pulse is Carrie Rose Pace, the Director of Communications for GRTC. So thanks for being on the show, Carrie. Thank you for having me. We are so excited to welcome Richmond aboard the Pulse. Yes, yeah, so first explain to us what is Bus Rapid Transit? It's a new type of service for the Richmond area. Area. It's high quality, high capacity, rapid transit service. We are still using buses, so rubber tires, absolutely, but we use a lot of the same design features like a light rail or a subway would that makes us faster, makes us more reliable, and we're able to provide more frequent service. Awesome, and what would you say makes it different than just your regular bus service? Well, there are a number of key design and technology features that make the Pulse totally different from anything else that we operate. And we're standing on one of those things that makes it different. It's the platform. So you're able to have platform level boarding where it's very easy to get on and off the bus through both the front and the back doors. That means as well that the operator is able to dock seamlessly and then keep on moving after everyone gets on and off. There's something else that's missing from the bus itself, and it's a fare box. So you're going to pay for your bus fare before you ever get on, and that happens right here at the platform at the ticket vending machine. We still accept cash coin, we'll issue change, and we will accept credit and debit. You'll enter your, pen, your zip code onto the pin pad right next to the ticket vending machine. And something new is mobile payment. So we're really excited about that. Additionally, there's smart technology. All of these buses are talking to every single traffic signal along the 7.6 miles between Willow Lawn and Rockets Landing. So if this bus needs to make up some time that it lost, perhaps at a station accommodating multiple bikes, maybe mo multiple mobility devices, then it can talk to the traffic signals and say, hey, can you give me some greens? And the benefit to everybody going eastbound and westbound is that if we get the green, you get the green. Awesome. And talk about the stations, how many there are and exactly where the buses will be going and stopping. The stations are located at 14 activity centers. Along the route, there's an eastbound and a westbound platform in most locations, except of course at the ends of the line. So there's a total of 26 platforms. They're all the same. They have the same features. Uh, they have real-time arrival information, seating and lean rails, as well as accommodations for individuals and mobility devices, and they have a beautiful map that is not just for wayfinding, but it is also interactive. There's a QR code embedded at each of those activity centers, those 14 hubs where the Pulse will stop, and you can load on your smart device a, a web-friendly, a little mobile-friendly site that gives you information about all the destinations and the events that are happening around that station location. I love the technology and I love how it's so accessible, like you said, for folks who may be wheelchair bound or even riding a bicycle. Exactly. We actually can accommodate an additional bicycle on the Pulse than we can on any other bus. So we can store three on the front bike rack. We also have extra bike parking at the Pulse stations and we connect conveniently with many of the RVA bike share docks. So don't bring the RVA bike share on, it's pretty heavy, but there are docks that you can connect to and from. So if you were getting off at the Science Museum area and then wanted to connect at another RVA bike share dock, then you can do that by riding the Pulse and then connecting with RVA bike share. Awesome, now will the fare change? There is no change to the fare. Riding the Pulse is exactly the same as riding a regular bus today. So it's a buck 50 per trip or 75 cents for reduced fare or completely free for our paratransit customers. They can get on and off as much as they want. And we do encourage people to give it a try because June 24th to June 30th, it's free rides not just on the Pulse, but on all of our routes except King's Dominion. Wow, so if anyone wants to just give it a shot, that's the chance to do it. It's a great opportunity to explore Richmond. It's in the summertime, kids are out of school. It's a great time to explore with your family and friends. Awesome, well thank you so much, Carrie. We are so excited about the Pulse. Again, launching on Sunday, June 24th. Again, you'll be able to ride for free that entire week. If you want more information, go to ridegrtc.com.